Hey YouTube, today we will be reviewing the Berkomac 48 inch snowblower and it's an absolute beast. It has an electric start and pull start and comes with a 420 cc all power motor. You also have the option at purchase of getting either a 14 horsepower Kohler motor or a 20 horsepower Honda motor instead. You will need to be mindful when choosing which motor option you want at purchase as some of the other motor models from Kohler and Honda don't come with a gas tank which is definitely something you will want to keep in mind when you are trying to decide which option you want. The Berko Mac has a no maintenance worm type heavy duty gearbox with an electromagnetic clutch. As a result engagement is near instantaneous. The base is double layered ensuring that if you strike an obstacle, damage to the snowblower is minimized and functionality will be well preserved. The Berko Mac weighs in at 350 pounds in addition to being 58 inches wide and about 19 inches high. I find the size and weight make it hefty but not unwidely. All of the rotating components are mounted on bushings making it easy, convenient to replace when the time comes. Everything about the Berko Mac is heavy duty. They took no shortcuts. The frame is made of 12 and 16 gauge steel, so it is very sturdy and resilient. The 15 inch four blade high speed impeller propels the snow about 50 feet on average and is protected by a sheer bolt system. So if you do hit some rocks, you won't have broken fins, a damaged impeller and busted intakes to worry about. I have been able to blow 17 inches of clear, heavy and wet snow over 30 feet from the snowblower. If you have regular powdered snow like the kind I'm blowing here, you might be able to send it 60 to 80 feet depending on the angle of your deflector. The electrically controlled chute rotation in deflector adjuster makes it extremely easy to adjust the vector of your snowstream. The chute has a rotation radius of 210 degrees, giving you a wide array of options from where you want to blow your snow. Engaging and disengaging the snowblower is simple and fast. With a single flip of the switch on your control panel, there is also an emergency shutdown button available in case you need to stop the snowblower immediately to prevent harm, injury, or property damage. The Berko Mac requires an electric winch with a thousand pound rating as well as a two inch rear ball hitch, so be sure to have that before purchase. I should also mention, the Berko Mac does not come pre-assembled. You will have to either put it together yourself or have someone else assemble it like we did. We only had someone else assemble it because we did not have the time to build it ourselves. But if you have the time and ability, I highly recommend assembling it yourself and saving some of that hard earned cash. All in all, I'd say the Berko Mac 48 inch is a pretty solid purchase for heavy duty snow blowing, especially in more rural and remote locales where sturdiness and reliability are extremely important. All right, and one thing I would like to uh, point out is that the tires on the snowblower frame itself, they are rubber tires, not pneumatic tires. So that way you don't have to worry about getting a nail in there and having to replace it because it will be uh, quite a adventure to have that done. In total, it ran us about uh, $5,000 uh, Canadian to get the snowblower and uh, uh, get the snowblower all put together as well. Uh, I've been looking on the Berko Max site now. I see these snowblowers going up uh, upwards of $6,000. So uh, with inflation happening and uh, everything like that, I can understand that. So I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you are a new uh, viewer to this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, uh, so that you can get more content like this. 
Also, head over to our Instagram page where you'll see more behind the scenes footage of upcoming videos and things that we do on the day-to-day -day basis. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one.